Hey everyone! Welcome to July's shop update! I'm super excited for this shop update. I have lots of new things. Um, so I have lots of little guinea pigs, lots of new special birds, some little cats as well. And I also have some new ceramics I want to show you. The shop update will be happening on Sunday, July 26th at 3 p.m. CEST. So that's three in the afternoon. The easiest way to figure out what time that is for you is just to Google. I wanted to do this update on a Sunday this time uh, and also make it a little bit earlier so that those who live in Asia can get a chance to get something this time as well. Just a short update on shipping. I still unfortunately cannot ship to most of the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so that means I can't ship to Australia or New Zealand. Hopefully the postal services will catch up soon so that I can start shipping to everyone who lives there. Also with shipping to North America, I have seen increased shipping times. So before it was about two months and now it's taking about three months for things to get there. Most items will be shipped with tracking, um, but just know that if you live in North America, it's going to take a fair bit of time to get there. With Europe and Asia, it seems like shipping is almost back to normal. So looking at between one to three weeks in Europe uh, and maybe two to four weeks to Asia. So things are starting to possibly look up. Anyway, that's enough about shipping policies. Let's go ahead and get to the actual items that will be in this shop update. So first things are these little raven pins. These were originally crows. You may have seen them before, but I've kind of upgraded them into ravens with these giant funny little eyeballs. I don't know why, just felt right. Um, but I have these four little raven pins. Then I have one pair of crow dangle earrings. And then I have these five taper pins that were in my latest tutorial. So I have just the five colors, purple, light blue, magenta, brown, and light pink. The light pink one does have like a slight painting mishap I noticed, so it will be sold at a discounted price. Then I also have some new cat pins. So I have this majestic black cat, a tortoise shell cat, and a little calico. Oh, and this little cat tabby pin. So I finally got around to making some kingfisher pins and I am so, so happy with how they turned out. I think that they're actually my favorite bird pin that I've ever made. I don't know if you can see it, but they kind of have this shimmer that I added to it, and it just looks so awesome in the sunlight. Ugh, I just love it so much. I've also done a restock on some of the medical birds, so I just want to say thank you to all the doctors, nurses, and medical practitioners who are working so hard day in and day out. I also have this one little special nurse bird that I realized I never listed. So if you're still feeling some summer vibes, I do have some little summery birds uh, that I meant to have ready last month, but I just didn't have enough time. So as you can see, here is some little sailors, and over here are some little birds wearing flower garlands. I realize that if you order them, that you'll probably get them closer to autumn now. I'm really sorry about that, um, but hopefully you'll still like them anyway, even when it starts getting colder. <laughs> Continuing on this bird trend, uh, I decided to make some little mini bird pins. The other mini pins were so well loved, I thought that I should offer these as mini versions too, so they'll be available. And now on to the mini cat pins. I want to say thank you to everybody who sent me photos of their adorable furry babies. It was I don't know, I just felt so happy checking my inbox for all these wonderful little pets uh, and it gave me so much inspiration for what kinds to make. And as you can see, I got a lot of guinea pig photos and I kind of went crazy on the guinea pig pins. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I hope you like them. I love them. 
I also have a variety of new little animal dishes. So I have these three little guinea pigs. They aren't that deep, they're quite shallow, so they'd be good for holding like little trinkets or maybe as like a spoon rest or maybe for like a tea bag. And then I have a couple of little birds. The one on the right kind of got this weird coloring paint job on it, uh, just so that you're aware. It will be sold at a discounted price just because the painting job is so uneven. And lastly are these two little cat dishes. This one also had a little mishap. It has like a small smudge on it, so it will also be sold at a discounted price. I've decided to finally list this little white fox bowl that you've probably seen from one of my tutorial videos. It's been just sitting on my shelf and I feel like somebody else could give it a much better home than I have been. It's not ceramic, so don't use it with food, but it is water resistant, so you could put a plant in it if you'd like, or instead use it as a jewelry bowl. I also have this little blue bear bowl, which also is not ceramic, but can be used to hold little earrings or other small types of jewelry and trinkets. And here we have a squat little ceramic planter. So I think that some type of succulent could probably be in here. If you do get this, please send me a photo of when you put something in it. I would love to see it. And another ceramic piece. It's supposed to be a hedgehog, but it kind of also looks like a bear. So we will call it a hedgehog bear. There is no drainage hole, so you could possibly put a plant in it, but just be careful not to overwater it, like I often do. And last but not least is this little black planter bird pot. I guess it's actually not that little. It's a bit bigger than my usual pieces, but it does come with a drainage hole. I wonder what plant is going to end up being in this. Oh, and I just wanted to end on these because they're so funny. They make me laugh so much. They are PP the Pigeon transparent stickers, which are also waterproof. I know that everybody really loves this one, but my favorite is actually this guy. He's picky enough and is a little gassy. That wraps up everything that was going to be in July's shop update. So lots of new pins, lots of guinea pigs, lots of birds, lots of cats, some ceramic bowls, some ceramic dishes. Again, the shop update will be on July 26th at three in the afternoon, Central Eastern time. I'm planning to do these each month. So let me know what you wanna see next and what you want me to make next. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked it.